Hi, this is Mike with IT Supplies. I'm here with a tutorial today on how to reinstall your communication driver for Garment Creator on a Windows PC. So as you can see, my Garment Creator is showing my printer as offline, despite having a communication driver installed. And that's what we'll be looking to fix. So the first step is to go on to Epson's website. You can go epson.com slash F2100. From here, scroll down to the support page and it will automatically direct you to the downloads page. From here, you want to open the drivers and you want to download the latest communication driver. Once that's done downloading, you want to navigate onto your control panel and access your device manager. As you can see, I have my communication driver right here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to right click, uninstall device. Click uninstall. And now we're gonna go through the steps to reinstall the communication driver. You can see the icon on my desktop right here. We're just gonna open that up. And this is the screen you'll see. I like to turn off set as default printer in case you have other printers you use as well. I'm gonna hit okay. It's going to ask you what language. Go ahead and read the license agreement. Agree. Hit OK. And then you want to select how you have your printer connected to your computer. In this case, I'm going to choose a USB connection. You'll see this screen where the software is looking for the printer through the USB. If you chose the network option, it will be looking across your network for the IP address. If it is unable to find it, you can choose the manual option. And once it finds the communication, you'll see this message confirming that it is completed successfully. At this point, you can reopen Garment Creator, and you should now see your printer status at the top of the screen instead of offline. If it's still showing offline, restart Garment Creator and see if it comes back. And that's all there is to it. This has been Mike with IT Supplies. Thank you for watching. Thanks so much for watching this. If you would like to see more of these videos, please go to our YouTube channel.